The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Timberborn with me, JD. So, in our last episode, last episode, we got a couple of houses up and running. We got the population expanding a little bit. At the same time, uh, we got the uh, fire pit up and running. So, Chastity, who's a child beaver, could grow up and become a strong adult woman beaver and spend some time spinning around a pole at the local fire pit and removing her fur for money. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, I do need to thank all the wonderful Patreon members, the wonderful Patreon members who do support the channel, who allow me to make jokes like that even when the video may have gotten demonetized due to me making jokes like that. Because with this lovely support of the Patreon members, I can make jokes like that and it doesn't doesn't affect me nearly as much then we all do it for the puns anyway with that out of the way uh today's episode today's episode we have lost huge beaver died of old age on the bright side uh, ky jelly beaver has also joined the colony uh they are a child but now that we have uh, they have a social life they will grow up 15 percent faster i do want to get a rooftop terrace i have no idea if the two bonuses stack together but we shall experiment and find out Ooh, you know what if i put one there with one of those there and we look at priorities and I max those two out that's easy that's just logs that's logs and planks planks are going to be a bit awkward for the moment um but we can see if the two of them stack together all right so with that out of the way um today's episode today's episode we need to do a few housekeeping things uh first off we have all of these paused they're not doing a lot for us paused so we're just going to remove them outright now, we do have these guys over here right on the edge so they could harvest any trees that were right here on the outside. There's no trees left on the outside. So we want to move our lumberjacks closer to the center where they can start harvesting this pine. So again, we're going to up the priority on those to max and also have our little beaver start planting uh, some more maple because we might as well. At the same time, the birch is coming in. Obviously, we have a lot of pine grown up. So we're going to cancel planting all that birch. I want to swap it across to maple. Like, maple is that much more dense when it comes to the amount of timber. So I'd much prefer to have maple up and running rather than birch. Which does mean that, yeah, I'm going to have to come over here constantly and remark the tiles as they get chopped down. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, with our new couple of triple lodges we are going to have more beavers coming online but with more beavers requires more food and more water we do have the second uh water pump run by the flying beaver who is still looking for a landing strip uh and a dead beaver uh, i'm guessing huge was running that one and huge uh leveled up the final level all right so nah don't touch that beaver I can run this water pump and it also means we're going to put in some small water tanks now i don't like the small water tanks honestly um they don't store a lot they take up a fair bit of room i'd much prefer the large water tanks which we could get the research but we can't make gears so we also need to look at our uh our distribution of power and see if we can fix that problem uh we want I want, I want, I want plant trees. All that is maple. Yes. Uh, you're prioritized to birch. Do I prioritize you across to maple? You know what? For the moment, it, it's quicker to remove it if I don't want it after the fact. We're just going to set up all that to be maple as well. Okay. And that. Why not? Now, we are still running the poor beavers on a 20-hour workday. Oh, and we start a new drought. Another six-day drought. It's okay. All right. Uh, our current issue is the sheer lack of planks. Now, lack of planks, I have a couple of options. None of them I'm terribly happy with, but I have a couple of options. Option number one is we put in more water wheels. 
not a bad option. We can put them further up river and make sure we capture the power better. That is definitely a great option. The other thing we can do is we can put in more windmills. Which means that when the water's not running like right now, we would also have more power. There's a catch with that. It means we need to really get across the river. Because if we click on a district center, we can see we only reach to about here. If I could make a shortcut across, we would be in a much better condition. So we're going to attempt to work out where would it be a good place to have a crossing. I'm thinking there. And we can see this is still a very, very nice green color, but it means I need planks. Uh, let's get you built first. So just look at our priorities. So you are... You're a nice green, so if I make anything else gray priority, they should be uh, next on the list. But unfortunately, it's three platforms, which is 12 planks, and there's no shorter way across. All right, so we're going to go... We're going to go in reverse. We're going to look at where we put a water wheel. So if I put a water wheel there and a water wheel there... And that one would need a platform. Okay, so we're going to put our two water wheels there because I'm trying to I'm trying to minimize our construction costs for right now. Uh, we're also going to drop straight away. They're overbuilding it. Wow. Not the house. Uh, okay, we'll up the priority on the house a little bit. Uh, set all of whatever we can find to be maple. Cool. I feel like I need more lumberjacks. Okay. We're going to get this path across here. After we get a path across there, we can put in a drivetrain and drivetrain. We can then start looking at... Lumber mills. Um, okay, for the moment, ideally, I'm probably going to want one there and one there. So, for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, we're going to put in a right angle and a straight. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So that'll get us power to here. Uh, actually, we're going to remove you. And we're actually going to put in cordway intersection. That way I can start putting windmills across the back. That's going to be our answer. And we're just going to move our production all over here. It means we'll free up this little bit of room here. Or maybe I'll just leave it there running. I'm not sure. But that's going to be step number one. Uh, you just need logs. Well, let's ship you across some logs, get you up and running. We have lax workers. Nobody to harvest logs. Okay. That's a problem. Uh, we can pull you off there. Uh, we can see that beavers are growing up. Evil is born. Now, I'm curious. Because of the changes to the game... You have a bonus from both campfires and a rooftop terrace. So I'm wondering if you actually grow up 15 and 15% 15 faster, being 30% faster total. Which would be really nice. And if we ever get down to a carousel, you'll get another 20% on top of that. Um, yeah, we will see. Okay, alright. So we need to get this built. After we get this built, we can get a little bit of infrastructure running out here. But that requires planks, which actually requires this machine to be running, which... Oh, you only make 50 horsepower. Oh, wow, I thought it was way more than that. And you're not even running properly. You're only running at 46. It does do 120. That's what I thought. Okay. First time I've been playing with folktales. I had no idea that the windmills were so bad. The only bright side is they run in all weather conditions. Sometimes, when they feel like it. 
Alright, so yeah, we need planks. A lot of planks. Okay, finally, we've got our last platform in. Okay, got our last platform in, which means the beavers can now come over here and start building, uh, well, everything over here. At the same time, we have had a lot of beavers have been born, along with a few have grown up. Like, it's, it's, it's sad when a bloody beaver grows up, because... Yeah, um, but on the bright side, I don't give a damn was born, and he don't give no damn. Okay, so with that out of the way, we have our first step. So we do want to, we have, you're at zero, 050, you're at 43. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around the back, and we're going to prioritize this, and that, yes, because this one we can build from this side once we start building buildings over here. All this is going to be enclosed and, and, and locked away, so it's going to be harder for us to access. At the same time, uh, the water level is less than ideal. Way less than ideal. Uh, I don't have any too deep sections over here anywhere. So we're going, we, we, we are storing water right here, which means this area will stay lush for longer. Which is good, but it also means that the very edge of the map, we need to unlock levees. And we need to line up some levees right across the edge of the map. Because we're going to have to store every little bit of water we possibly can if we want to keep uh, surviving these droughts. These are still six-day droughts. I do know that it gets a lot worse than six days. Um... And we can't last longer than six days currently. So if we get hit with a longer drought, bad things would happen. And I, and I, I, I'd hate to lose an exotic beaver to something like starvation or thirst. Yeah, it, it, it's horrible when a beaver dries out. Okay, drought has ended. Our little water rocks will start flowing again, hopefully right now. Now. Hey, now. Okay. Which should refill our riverbank. Uh, same time, we are going to get this done. This is going to be a... Okay, so you're all, all ultra low, yeah. So we're going to set this as a low priority. It's not super important. Um, this is still super important. We need to get these up and running. So we can get in another... Uh, Another plank machine, and uh, probably a whole bunch of windmills. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to do something about beavers being able to get around. Okay, same time, we are going to put in a lumberjack flag here. Uh, mainly because I want... Well, all of this gone. And probably all of that. Yep, I just want all that out of my way. Uh, so we have more room to... No unemployed beavers. Yeah, we know there's no unemployed beavers. Uh, on the bright side... Oh my god, we have a stuffed beaver, an Oz beaver, a South American beaver. Probably from a country called Brazil, uh, a woody beaver, a rusty beaver, and a spanky beaver, and chomps died of old age. Well, I want a rough, rough beaver to go with the rusty beaver. Okay, all right, so we are going to go into plank production. Uh, let's put one there, which we will max out the priority on that. Same time, we'll start with our very first windmill. And they have to be three tiles away from the previous one. Okay, we can plug it straight in the back of whatever building I'm going to put there. Um. I sort of like the idea of a separate drivetrain. That way I can choose to swap the buildings at the front without an issue. Yep, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to delete that for the moment. 
and the beavers should be able to duck around the back after they finish building the lumber mill and get that up and running. And at the same time, we do have a lot of logs, like a lot of logs, and I think we're now in a position where we're going to need a few more things, okay? I'd love to get a builder's hut, but I just don't have the beaver population to do that. Uh, actually, you can be paused. You can be paused. You can be paused. Uh, oh, it's because we're going to run all the way down here to get stuff. Ha, 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 It's log pile time. Um, where to put the log pile? That's a great question, JD. It does not stack. Unlike the iron teeth. Um... Um, all right, we're going to put this right beside the um, the campfire for the moment. So they've been paused. They've gone to research or into the lumber mill. Yes, we have a munchy beaver in the lumber mill. Excellent. Hopefully this wheel runs a little bit more often, uh, which means munchy can make a few more planks. Munchie is just... What do carrots give us? Life expectancy. Oh no, no, you do actually have one log to do things with. Excellent. Okay. Alright, well now we have a log pile so we can dump all our logs in there. That's a great start. Guess what we have approaching again? After four days of water flow, it's drought time. Okay. In four days, what do we get done? Not a lot. Alright, so we have a windmill that's partially built. We actually have the planks and storage to just finish it off. It's not enough builder's problem. Um, which means we probably need to take a side step and unlock a builder's hut and get the hell of that prioritized. Um, not that I have any unemployed beavers to actually do the work. Harry Beaver and a Ranger Beaver. Okay, we're gonna pause you and pause you because you guys are so far away. Unpause you, unpause you. Now look at some efficiency. So you're at productivity 42%, you're at 80%, that's something at least. You're at 37%, you're at 42%. Okay, so rather than doing a builder's hunt, let's start with a hauling post. Um, I have no idea why I actually want these. Uh, second highest. We want to finish that because it's almost done. <sighs> okay, two idle beavers. You can be unpaused. And that is absolutely it, right? Yes. Okay, so a haul po hauling post should, and this is the important thing, should give the beavers with a 100% working strength bonus. So you should be able to carry twice as much. It also means that hopefully all these logs get picked up and dropped into the log pile, which should improve things along with we should get higher productivity on our water pumps because the water should be carried over by somebody else. It's either that or I need a building hut to spend the timber faster. It's 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 an either or situation. I'm not actually sure which one we, we we definitely need. At the same time, another upgrade we can get for any lucky yeah, beaver really is grilled potatoes. Grilled potatoes give them a strength strength bonus of thirty percent. Thirty percent means a lot. We go from carrying ten kilos to carrying thirteen kilos. Thirteen kilos is actually a major step because each log weighs six kilos okay so if we can, can I click on that log no i can't click on the log uh are you carrying a log well you were carrying a log can i get somebody carrying a log there we go got? log is six kilos so if i get them potatoes then they can carry twice the amount of logs so that could be a very healthy upgrade uh but to do that we are definitely going to need a grist mill, which is gonna. Oh my god, that need. No, actually, we don't need a grist mill. We need a grill. Okay, we can do a grill. 
also probably means I'm going to need another farmhouse. Which means I need more unemployed beavers. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to put that there. We're going to put that there. To do this tiny upgrade, I technically need, like, three idle beavers. And I don't have three idle beavers currently. I can probably find three, but I don't have three. That's that's the difference. All right. So, uh, first drive train is up. We are definitely going to add another lumber mill. Uh, along with... We have 12 planks. So, we're going to add another windmill as well. Uh, just because I want to make sure that the priority on these stays nice and high. And we keep producing power. Uh, we have 45 beavers, which means our two water pumps is maybe not quite enough. Uh, you know what? We might just... Uh, wrong button. Set you up for another pump. Actually, I really want to build the pumps down here. We might just remove... So, one pump, two pump, three pump, four pump, five pump. And pump, pumps on the right hand side. So it's fine for all of them except this one. This one will be one tile shallower than the rest. Or I could move them across by building in some platforms. Maybe we'll end up doing that. Uh, mark resources for demolition and that one as well. Alright, so we have a grill, not that it helps us, because uh, we don't have any potatoes ripe and ready to go. Same time, we have a half-built farmhouse to, you know, more potatoes. We do have the hauling outpost up and running with a stuffed beaver and exotic beaver. Unfortunately, it can take up to 10 beavers. We do not have 10 idle beavers. Uh, we found one. We found two. Do we leave you there or do we pull you out? Let's leave you there for now. Yes. So the hauling outpost has four of ten beavers. Five of ten beavers, because rusty beaver just grew up. Okay. Your population is slowly getting there. You know, 29 adults, uh, 11 children. Uh, the reason we have 11 children is uh, many of our adult beavers are up here at the rooftop terrace socializing after hours yeah yeah drinks a fireplace camp tent yeah we don't question what happens okay we have you up and running as well can i plant i think i can plant more potatoes everybody loves a tater We're sort of filled in all the tiles we can with potatoes. Uh, we have Spanky Beaver. Spanky Beaver is also making some planks. We have some decent amount of planks coming in. So our shortage is definitely now construction. Which means we're definitely going to look at a builder's hut. Another 100 science points. Not a problem. And we're going to drop you right there. Uh, we're going to up you for the moment. Because you might as well run. Yeah, we're actually doing all right. Alright, new day, new drought, another six day drought. It'll be fine. We should get through the drought without too much hassle. Uh, we have upped the priority on the Builder's Hut to maximum, maximum effort. Because we need to have the Builder's Hut up and running as fast as possible. I, I need extra beavers to come out and help. Uh, that's dead farmland. Okay. Let's, because you last 0.9 of a day. Uh, carrots don't... Yeah, carrots don't last a lot longer. With no water. Hmm. Okay, builders hut's up and running. Uh, let's set it to four builders. Let's find four beavers. Uh, nope, one more. And 
same time we're gonna unpause that. So, our worker beavers are stuffed, rusty, loss, and ranger beaver. Our uh, worker beavers are exotic beaver, Harry beaver, a rough beaver as well. That's rusty. That's rough. They're, they're like cousins. Um, okay, so with that out of the way, we can definitely build a path through to there. We're also gonna rip up that one tile. So we can put this one tile in here. And yes, this is where I'm planning on putting all our water. Yeah, that's got to be worth it. I have no idea where the construction beavers are. Oh, they are probably building that. We don't actually need that water wheel right now. No, because if that water wheel is turning, we have all the power in the world. You can do 190. Which means you can potentially run four of these guys. You know what? We're going to schedule it in four. So we don't forget. Uh, okay, we're going to bring the priority on that up. Because last time the water level got to, like, nothing. And there's a good chance this time around with extra beavers, it's going to get worse. Uh, speaking of extra beavers, we can house 45 and we have 44. So we've sort of maxed out what we can do. Sure, the beavers are going to grow up and that'll be great. But right at the moment, we... we we just have to wait for beavers to grow up. I don't give a damn. Splinter Splinter is chopping trees. That seems perfectly fine. Along with Lumber Squirrel. Again, seems perfectly acceptable. Ah, we need to get this dam done. This is sort of priority number one. Uh, get the levees done first. Second level levees. And then, of course... Uh, the dam on top. Just just to have that little bit more water storage, it also means that this is the deepest, well, not the deepest, that would be right here at the end, but it is a deeper spot which we can gather water from. Uh, and it also means that we're not going to, we have no risk of draining this little section, which is technically sort of important for keeping all this area green. The trees will survive at quite a while without water. Um carrots not so much so it's sort of important we don't drain this so I'd much prefer to move all the all the water pumps up further downstream okay with the extra building crew things are getting there we've just completed our last dam piece which means we can run water into here I don't really want to remove this dam because currently it's a path across Probably should in the future. Honestly, the extra dam tile shouldn't make an ounce of a difference. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Uh, in saying that, we've got one day left on the drought and water levels are still getting really, really low. So I'm sort of glad I added this bit. The only way we can increase our water levels is, well, two ways. One is larger water tanks. So we don't let any water flow off the map. We pump it all before it gets to the edge of the map and then we tank it and, and yep. Our second option is uh, we use explosives to make the whole river wider, which is not a bad idea. At the same time, we've had a many beavers level up. Uh, as you can see, we now have 44 beavers. We can technically house 50 after I unpause that, um, which we should be okay with. Uh, I need to pull somebody off the hauling outpost so they can harry beaver harry beaver can go make us some potatoes because our very first a lot of potatoes are up and running can i prioritize you for potatoes yes at the same time storage do not store potato potatoes yeah we're just going to run potatoes straight into the grill and store grilled potatoes i think uh now i do want to just set up the water pumps uh we're going to go one two three four five now i don't need these guys running yet in fact 
technically only need one of them running. So we're going to pause the rest, have them placed out at least. We have planks. We have 90 planks. We have so many planks. Which means we are going to have the busy building beavers get these couple of tiles done. Once they're done those, we can then fork this up and put another layer on top. Which will be very, very handy. Uh... Happiness wise, campfire and rooftop terrace are not doing great. Um, look, let's just put another campfire. Another temporary campfire. Uh, actually, that affects fertility. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Yes. Okay, so next step is going to get this water pump up and running. At the same time, uh, I need to unlock gears desperately. Um, because we obviously have a bunch of planks. I'd love to get gears. I'd also love to get paper. But I think gears is going to be the number one priority. How much power do you need? 120. And you guys, when you're feeling good, produce 60. But more often than not, I'm seeing... I uh, produce 120. But more often than not, I'm seeing 60 out of you. So we might just... Hold off on the gear workshop for a little while. Put in some more infrastructure. Uh, do you still have things to chop? You do. You do. Okay. Uh, hauling Outpost has increased the productivity of uh, both of the... Water pumps has also reasonably increased the productivity of um, our plank workshops. Not by a whole lot, but by a little bit. Uh, so we are getting there slowly. We are going to prioritize... You are full of grilled potatoes already. And storage is full. Storage, what do you need? You need a lot of planks. That's like a lot, a lot of planks. And you hold a thousand compared to your three hundred. You hold four thousand. Oh, you need gears. That's a whole nother story. All right, we're gonna put in another temporary warehouse right here then, and you're done. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're we're gonna wait for the last couple of building projects to get done before we move on to anything new, like gears. Because, like I said, gears are definitely a priority. All right, our drought has ended and our water levels are pathetic. Yeah, pathetic. But that's okay. We, we have survived once again. Water is flowing once again. We should be fine. Uh, the busy beavers have got this little bit of construction done, which does mean I can put in stairs and a platform and stairs and housing and three more houses on top. And we can finally use the double platforms that we researched oh so long ago to stack that up one more layer. Uh, that's going to give us double our housing. Um, well, not quite double. You know, we do have some odd houses elsewhere, but it's going to be a nice, sizable start. Which should get that up and running. Uh, you... No, we don't have any unemployed beavers, even though it said we did for a second. Uh, huge... We play this small game. It's called Survival of the Fittest. And considering you built yourself in, you were not the fittest. At least not the smartest. Um, so I think... I think with a sad, tragic loss, or almost lost, or will be lost, will be lost of a huge... I think we're going to leave this episode here. Next episode, next episode, we're, we're now on cycle five. We've done five droughts already. I think next episode we can branch out and jump into gear production. Because uh, science is actually going great. Like, unbelievably great. I have no idea why we're doing so well in science. Um, obviously, I'm just a masterful player. But, yeah, we're, we're going to be jumping into gears in the next episode. Which is going to require more power infrastructure. More, uh, more windmills it also means that then we can start storing up a whole lot more water 
for longer droughts because we are gonna have longer droughts coming anyway with all that said thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and um as always like if you have a good like button already you should do so if you haven't subscribed you should do that as well there are links up the top corner to, to, to tutorial videos that i have done and was sort of mentioned during this episode um but that said i think we're done i think we're done thank you guys so much for watching uh i do hope you've enjoyed and please leave a uh, a like or an F in the comments for the sad, tragic loss of uh, Mr. Huge Beaver. Alright, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. Bye.